Vitaly will be in Omaha next week, and why he goes. Episode number 153 of the Intellectual Investor Podcast. Thanks for listening. Would you like to get the best articles by Vitaly from 2021 packaged with some art in a beautiful PDF? Head to contrarianedge.com slash almanac or follow the link in the show notes. Omaha, written by Vitaly Katzenelson and read by Elliot. Vitaly will be in Omaha next week and why he goes. I've been going to the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting since 2008. This trip has become a wonderful annual tradition. This year, I am joined by my son Jonah, his second trip to the Berkshire meeting. I've written about this weekend so many times that it is very difficult not to repeat myself. Instead, I'll share below the chapter I wrote for The Warren Buffett Shareholder, a book edited by Lawrence Cunningham and published by Harriman House where I describe my experiences attending Berkshire meetings over the years. First, hopefully, annual breakfast. Friday, April 29th, 8 to 10.30 a.m. at Lula B's. I am hosting an intimate gathering for friends, readers, and fellow value investors from 8 to 10.30 a.m. on Friday, April 29th at Lula B's in Omaha. Stop by and enjoy some delicious breakfast. I may do a simple, unscripted Q&A. If you show up early enough, you might even get a free signed copy of my new book, Soul in the Game, The Art of a Meaningful Life. Register at a link in the show notes. Space is limited to 60 people. I'll be speaking at the YPO event at Holland Performing Arts Center on Saturday, April 30th at 4.30 p.m., where I'll share the stage with Tom Russo. Tom Gaynor, and Lawrence Cunningham. My understanding is that the event is open to non-YPO members, too. You can register by contacting ypo.nebraska at gmail.com. My friend Guy Spear is hosting a lunch on Friday, April 29th from 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. You can register for that at a link in the show notes. One last thing before we get into the shareholder chapter. For reasons I don't understand, supply chain issues are having a huge impact on the publishing industry. It usually takes four weeks to print a book. Not today. We are out in 21-week territory. Publication of my book has been shifted twice. When it was delayed a second time, my awesome editor, Craig from Harriman House, called me and said, Vitaly, I have bad news and good news for you. The bad news? Your book publication has been shifted from May to June 21st. The good news? I know you really wanted the book to be available at the Berkshire Annual Meeting. Just for you, we'll run a limited printing in the UK, no supply chain issues on the other side of the pond, and ship them to the US. Thus, my book will be available in very limited quantities at Hudson Booksellers in the Omaha Airport, two months before it hits other stores in the U.S. And no, the U.K.-printed copies will not speak the Queen's English, just my acquired American patois, riddled with Russian sarcasm. If you are flying in or out of Omaha, stop by Hudson Booksellers and pick up a possibly signed copy of my book. Next Year in Omaha Next Year in Jerusalem is a phrase sung by all Jewish people at the end of Passover. The Israeli officer at Ben Gurion Airport wanted to remind me of that. You left Russia 24 years ago and this is your first visit to Israel? She snarled at me as she thumbed through my American passport. I had kept singing next year in Jerusalem, but had never followed through on it. Now it was 2015, and I haven't even set foot in my holy homeland yet but was already overwhelmed with Jewish guilt. Just as for Jews, Israel is a homeland that we know is always there. For value investors, Omaha turns into our homeland for three days in early May. My first pilgrimage was in 2008. I had just finished my book on value investing when my editor at John Wiley & Sons recommended I participate in a book signing at the Omaha Dairy Queen during the weekend. I was perplexed. I had labored over this book for two years just to do a book signing at a fast food restaurant. 
Maybe after DQ, I'd graduate to Burger King. You'll see, she said. When I arrived at the DQ, it was packed with authors and book lovers, media, and ice cream. Somehow it felt natural. Value investors who love books come to the DQ to meet authors, buy books, and scarf a deluxe cheeseburger. The event quickly drew so many people that the DQ simply couldn't handle the traffic. In subsequent years, the event was moved to Crichton University. For investment book authors seeking to meet readers in person, there is no better place. Several things came out of this DQ visit. Before that day, I was indifferent to Dairy Queen's ice cream. Since then, however, I have been taking family, friends, colleagues, and clients to DQs nationwide. I'd take a client to a fancy restaurant, and we'd skip the dessert and go to DQ. I'd tell him the story about the DQ signing in Omaha, and suddenly a trip to Dairy Queen after a fancy dinner seems normal to both of us. I met Jim Ross, the owner of Hudson Booksellers, who puts together the book signing event. Hudson Booksellers is a small store in the Omaha airport. It is probably the only airport store in the world that has every value investing book in print. Every year after I step off the airplane, my first stop is to say hello to Jim and thumb through new titles. I may even sign a few books of my own that they diligently carry. On that day in DQ, I was approached by a good-looking man who looked just like me. We started talking, and he told me that his name was Ethan Berg, from Lenox, Massachusetts. Due to our similar looks, people often confuse us. He'd be at a value investing conference, and people would come and ask him, Vitaly, would you sign my book? At first, he'd say, I'm Ethan. However, after the first few times, he started saying, sure, and signing the book. The DQ was the beginning of a beautiful friendship between Ethan and me. As I discovered, the DQ signing was just the tip of a huge iceberg. There were opportunities to learn and to meet interesting folks at dozens of different events all over Omaha. On my first trip to Omaha in 2008, my goal was clear, to see and hear Buffett and Munger speak. True, I did not relish rising at 5 a.m. or standing in the dark in a long line and later sitting in an uncomfortable seat for six hours in a humongous sports arena. But all that came with a certain sense of adventure the first few times. After a few years, you hear the same questions and answers over and over again. What is most important about the annual meetings moves beyond the formal session to all the people and events around you. I look forward to the BRK weekend more and more each year. Buffett and Munger are not the main attraction anymore, but they have created an enormous value investing ecosystem by bringing 40,000 investors to a cow town that most people would otherwise be unable to locate on a map. The BRK weekend is a rare opportunity for me to see friends who come to Omaha from all over the world, the UK, Australia, Germany, Switzerland, we share meals, we debate stocks, we make new friends. As I get older, I have begun to appreciate that the most important things in life are relationships. A lot of my relationships are rekindled and nurtured in Omaha. And that's why every year I say, next year in Omaha, and mean it. Thanks for listening. If you know someone who'd enjoy this episode, share it with them. To listen to more episodes, visit investor.fm. Enjoy life and prosper.